We're going to talk weather right now. And Jackie, <sighs> summer really is here. It feels yeah. unreal, but summer really is here. Yeah, we did see the hottest day of the year, though, for parts of our area yesterday. So thankfully today won't be quite as hot. So we did see yesterday afternoon Dulles Airport for a high of 96 degrees. So that's officially the hottest day of the year. Now Reagan tied uh, the old hottest day of the year that was set back in June. 94 degrees. Hagerstown also tied it with 94. Annapolis 92. So that's officially also the hottest day. Martinsburg also tied uh, at 91 degrees yesterday afternoon. But overall, yes, we tracked the heat. We tracked a little bit more of that humidity yesterday and even more humid uh, later on today. A few storms will also bubble up because of that heat and humidity through the day today. Humidity will be sticking around through the weekend along with some storm chances. Not a complete washout, but certainly want to be weather aware for any of those outdoor plans you may have both weekend days. But I'll go through the timing and when you can ex expect some of those thunderstorms to move through your area coming up. But satellite radar this morning showing us the setup that cold front continue to push its way off towards our east. Now we just have that trough and we've been noticing those showers and thunderstorms very active across southern Virginia, not very active across our area locally. We did just see a few sprinkles Siding across southern Maryland earlier, those have since faded away. So overall, we're tracking the dry conditions to kickstart your Friday morning. Those temperatures are gradually starting to warm up as well. Seeing a lot of 70s on the map right now. Getting close to 80, though, in Frederick at this hour. We're 73, though, in Hagerstown. Upper 70s in D.C., 72 Waldorf, right around 80 in Lexington Park. Seeing that 60 still holding in Woodstock. We're at, right at 64 there, but we're 74 already in Culpeper. Now, with the dew points, it's making it feel a little bit more humid out there. We're upper 60s, sorry, about 70 in terms of those dew points and in terms of that scale when once you reach the 70s that's a bit more of the tropical sticky feel to the air almost like the air you can wear I know Tosin loves when I say that uh, you can feel it as you make your way out the door uh, this morning and that will continue through the day today as well we'll see uh, some sun breaking out through the clouds through the afternoon and some of those showers and storms starting to bubble up through the day and like I mentioned high temperatures today upper 80s to low 90s not nearly as hot as yesterday with that humidity will make it feel even hotter so when you have the showers and storms moving through that should cool things off just a little bit before then we're right back at it with some more of that sunshine looks like later on this evening this latest model showing some more of those showers and storms bubbling up right around 7 p.m. before those eventually fade away tracking dry conditions tomorrow morning before more scattered showers and storms move in later on tomorrow afternoon looks to be later on after 4 p.m. when we could be dealing with some of those showers and storms as a warm front lifts in Sunday isolated thunderstorms mainly for the first half of the day as a cold front swings through. So really uh, determining the timing of the showers and storms are with those fronts. So there's that warm front lifting in as we get towards 4 p.m. tomorrow evening and that'll be firing up some shower and thunderstorm activity. Then there's that cold front back out towards the west that swings through as we get ahead towards uh, say the latter half of the morning Sunday that could be firing up those showers and thunderstorms as well. Monday is dry. Tuesday we have a cold front off towards our north and west that will slide in bringing us some more shower and thunderstorm activity for Tuesday. Wednesday is dry. Thursday we're looking at some spotty thunderstorms and then next Friday mainly cloudy with high temperatures right around 90 looks to be mainly dry but Friday night is when we could be dealing with some showers and thunderstorms moving in as well. Shanika is back with another track of those roadways. How's it looking out there this morning? All right more issues out there. This is in Prince